hello guys and welcome back to another video and a client brought a phone to me and said the phone is not charging so when i looked at the condition of the charging port i was like okay let me make a video for my subscribers so that they can also learn how to repair a problem like this don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel you can also share with your technician friends as well all right let's examine the the pins of the charging port you see the, it's not healthy the way we see it is not looking healthy so i'm going to remove the charging port and show you what is really going on all right so i want to use this medium to tell you if you are, if you are interested in our online training or physical training dmos and the number on the screen and we'll help you to improve in your mobile phone repair journey all right thank you so much all right removing the charging port you can see it's a little bit messy right there as you can see the parts are off but i'm going to show you in just few minutes now i'll show you how the parts are off i'm cleaning it with my pcb cleaner all right and the brush so that we can see what i'm talking about now take a look at the parts we only have two parts that are alive every other part are off and you can see jumper wire from here all right it has been uh, probably repaired one of the parts are uh, is probably repaired before so i want to take you through step by step on how i'm going to repair this part in case you also have this kind of problem you'll be able to go about it okay so now i've used my grinding tool to to scratch okay when you are scratching you have to be very very important some technicians use razor to to, to scratch or you can call it blade to scratch and when they are scratching they also scratch the gnd alongside with it but it's important that i use the right tool for the right job all right as you can see now i'm using my wick to suck out the excess soda on the on the part on the gnds that holds the charging port down i'm also trying to rub some um you know i've applied my flux already so i'm rubbing off some uh soda paste on the scratched area as well so that at least um they will, there, will, there will be a foundation of soda paste now applying fresh soda paste on the scratched area so i'm trying to make a, a jumper but it's just like a kind of repairing the parts so i just want to show you how i was able to repair this part so this is my jumper wire I've, i'm peeling off the um the coated wire i mean insulated wire so i'm attaching it to where i have scratched now with the head of the soda paste they already applied on the pcb all right so i'm going to clean this off right now so that you guys you guys can see exactly what i have done you see the three jumper wires that i've made and i'm trying to clean the the dirt over here it is very important that you clean your work that your work is very clean guys i'm telling you make sure you clean some technicians whenever they are working on the simplest charging port they don't clean and here i'm applying the uv glue to secure the base of where i've just soldered you understand so that it will be strong all right that's the importance of using the uv oil and i'm using the uv light now to make that oil dry up okay it is only the uv light that can dry this oil up and um Taking a closer look, what I'm doing next is scratching off the excess uh, glue that I've applied. Already has covered the parts. All right. So when you are doing all yours, you can do it better than mine. Okay. So now the next thing is to is to roll the wires into the um, the 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 parts where 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 the parts are supposed to be. So instead of the parts, we are rolling in wires to fill in those space. Okay, guys. So it is very it's very important that you learn this you might not get this in just a go it can take you several practice so you roll the wire just see the way i'm doing mine you roll it right into the spaces where the parts are peeled off all right it is very very important all right now so now after this okay the next thing is to clean okay cleaning is very very important as you do your work you clean you do your work you clean so you work a little bit when there is dirt you clean it off so that you can proceed with the next thing now the next thing we are going to do is to use the uv oil to secure those rolled 
wires, all right, to secure them, to make them sit, okay, unmovable, all right? So you see the way I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. So that's how you're going to do it. Don't pour the whole UV oil on, on that place and to be messy. Now I've secured, the, I've secured it with the UV light, which makes it hard. Now when it is hard, remember the UV oil is also covering those uh, wires. So I need to use my blade to scratch off so that I can get a usable pad for my charging port. So it is important that you scratch off so that you know when you are soldering the soldering lead will be able to grab something or hold on to something okay and while you are scratching don't scratch too hard because if you scratch too hard the uh the uv oil i mean the uv glue that we are just using can also come out easily so and after that you see i'm cleaning and i'm now i'm applying my flux don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to learn more of this join my online training and we're going to teach you step by step okay now after applying the flux I'm going to come with my charging port, my charging port and lay it gently right on the space, I mean on the spot. Then after doing this, I'm going to apply flux and I want to advise you as a technician, it is important that you, you use good quality flux while you are working. It makes your job clean and very easy. Okay. Now what I'm trying to do here is to uh, reposition. The charging port so that it will enable me to solder properly now i'm applying the solder paste you know i'm applying the solder paste that 183 degrees cell, uh, celsius okay, you can apply it then you solder the 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 pins to the scratched parts that you have made all right the scratch part you have made and after that you clean it is important you clean your job and you make sure they are properly secured all right so this is how I do mine now this what i'm doing here is to cover up the back side many technicians are also doing it which is a very good thing so it's 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 um to help the customer to um make the charging port last okay all right so um now i'm going to test the charging port after the repair and i want to show you guys the results and i know the result is an amazing result i know it's a good result already so if you are having something like this some people can say oh why don't you just change the downboard okay i can also change the jump the downboard but there are some phones that you can you might not get the downboard so you can see the phone is charging properly look at the amount of amps that shows that all the pins are properly secured all right they're properly secured and this 0 0.7 is going to go back to 1.1 1.0 thereabout and the phone is charging properly thank you guys for watching see you in my next video peace